Shalom, it's Rubin Abraimov, the Haftorah man, and with this week's Haftarah, coming to you from the Haftorah man library. However, we will all be praying, some of us, at the Hampton Synagogue, headed up by Rabbi Mark Schneier, assisted with Rabbi Avram Bronstein. We have Nathanael Hirschtig, amazing man, and then also the maestro Chaimov, and then, of course, I'd like to acknowledge Carol Levin as the president of the Hampton Synagogue. And I bring this week's Haftarah, which is the most amazing one, of uh, the parasha of Shalach. So in the Torah portion, Moses sends the Miraglim, the spies, to tour out, to re- have a reconnaissance mission of the land of Israel. Twelve leaders of the tribes... And now we have to read a Haftarah with a similar theme. So they pick the story, the great rabbis picked the story of how Moses' successor, Joshua, picked two men to go case out the city of Jericho because that was the neural center of the land of Israel, was the city of Jericho. So let's get right into it. It's these two spies that you have, Kalev ben Yefune, as well as Pinchas ben Elazar. These two men get sent out while the Israelites are on the east of the Jordan River, the whole camp, 10 miles by 10 miles spread, and they send these two spies into the city of Jericho, and right away the king's men go knocking on the door of Rachav, Rahab, who had a bed and breakfast. And uh, some say that she was a prostitute, and some say that, uh, you know, she had a place and she would serve breakfast and baked goods. So as I've uh, said before in the past, if you were looking for tarts, this was the city to go, this was the place to go to Rahab. Well, there's a bang on Rachav's door, And the king's men are saying, where are these two men? And she said, they were here, but they escaped. Well, really, she'd been waiting, Rachav has been waiting 40 years for Israelites to come take back the land of Israel. And she had scooched these two men up on the roof and hid them there. The king's men leave. And briefly, just to tell the story, it would take a long time, but I'll just give you the headlines. They look at each other, the two spy guys, Kalev and Pinchas and Rachav. She was beautiful. And she said to them, I saved your lives, now you save mine. I know you're coming into the city of Jericho. You have to protect me and my father and mother and my brother and my sister. You have to protect me. So they agree. On our life, we agree. And then... They do flee out of the city of Jericho, the two spies, and they go back to the camp where Moses was, and they tell Moses, Jericho is in our hands. Everything is secure, just this woman whose house is in the wall of Jericho, you must not kill her, you must not touch her. So this is a wonderful, wonderful message of the way the Israeli mind thinks. Should I go do it? How am I going to do it? Go and do it. I wish you Shabbat Shalom. Enjoy the Haftarah.